Welcome back, guys. Sherry here. Bomb flowers, fire fruit, and ice fruit. I feel like these are three items that we desperately need here in Tears of the Kingdom. And evidently, there is a way to get unlimited of each of these items. Now, I have had several of you guys mention this method to me. You've even sent me videos. So I have no idea who to give credit to for discovering this, but whoever did, hats off to you. But if someone knows, drop me a comment, tag me with their video. But I've had several of you guys ask me to explain this in greater detail, so let's get into it. However, guys, there's a couple of things we're going to need, and one of which is a steak, and we can get one right here in this device dispenser, which is just a little south of Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. Now, we're also going to need a homing cart, and we can get one of these right here in the north central Hyrule sky. But we're also going to need either the Bacoblin Mask or Majora's Mask. Now, to be able to get Majora's Mask, you have to defeat all of the Lynels that are in the Floating Coliseum in the depths. If you don't know how to kill a Lynel or you're anxious about trying to kill a Lynel, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I'll also leave a link in the description. But now the Bacoblin Mask we get from Kilton and his brother. Now, the first time you meet them, you're going to find them close to Woodland stable and you have to give him the babul gems from the babul frogs that you get out of the caves but either one of these masks will work now to be able to do this we have to find a bacoblin that is carrying a basket of whatever item it is that we want to collect now the first item we're going to collect are bomb flowers and guys i think this one is the hardest but we can find a couple of these bacoblins just right here in the Akala region. It's just a little right of this chasm. Now, the problem with these Bacoblins is they are on top of a battle talus. And the reason that this is a problem is because we have to kill everything except for one Bacoblin that is carrying a basket of bomb flowers. That means we even have to kill the talus. So, guys, I used a rocket that was fused to my shield, and I got up in the air. Now, I am using a multi-shot bow, which I did get from the Lynels. If you're going to use a multi-shot bow, you need to be extremely careful and not hit the Bacoblin's basket because it will explode the bombs that are in the basket. And you might want to make yourself some stamina replenishing foods. That way, you can stay up in the air a little bit longer. Now, we can do this just by cooking ourselves up some stam bulbs. Now, guys, we can find these all over the Sky Islands, but the more stam bulbs you put into it, the more stamina it's going to refill. We can also use some crickets just by cooking up some crickets and a monster part. And the same thing applies here. The more crickets you put into it, the more stamina it's going to refill. Now, once you kill everything except for the one Bacoblin that is carrying a basket of bomb flowers, you want to lay down a travel medallion. Now, guys, if you don't know where to get a travel medallion, you can click the link in the upper right-hand corner. I'll also leave a link in the description. However, you don't have to have a travel medallion. But what we need to do here is leave this area because this Bacoblin knows that we just attacked him. Even though we have Majora's mask on, he knows that we attacked him and he is going to attack us back. So we need to leave the area and come back so that he forgets. And one thing I failed to mention, guys, before you engage with a talus, with this battle talus, save your game. That way, just in case you end up killing all of the Bacoblins or you can't get a Bacoblin singled out that has a bomb flower basket, you can just reload your game. Now, once you return to the Bacoblin, and as you can see, he's not attacking me. He has totally forgotten that I just killed his entire family. I just killed his entire treehouse. So once we make it back, let's take out a homing cart and let's take out a stake. Now, guys, this is really important. Make sure the homing cart is upside down. And all we want to do is attach the stake to the homing cart and let's place it in the ground. But now, once you place this in the ground, let's run away from it because the Bacoblin's going to follow you. And guys, don't attack him. Don't pull out any weapons and attack him. He won't attack you back. But just run away from this homing cart. And then, as you just saw, I shot an arrow at the homing cart. Let's do that. Let's get it going. Because we want this Bacoblin to attack the homing cart. But if there is some random item sitting around, like a rock or anything, that he might throw at it, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Because we want him 
to throw his bombs at this homing cart. Now, once he starts throwing the bomb flowers at the homing cart, we want to stand next to him and he is going to reach into his basket. When he does this, we want to collect it once it is in his hand. Now you can see once his hand grabs one of these bomb flowers and he starts to pull it up, you can see that it will flash up and it will say bomb flower. When that flashes up and he has it in his hand, that is when you want to collect it. Because if you just randomly start collecting it, you're going to end up collecting all of the bomb flowers that are in his basket and then he's going to run out. See, when he throws them, he has unlimited amounts of these bomb flowers. So it is very important that you only collect it once you can see this bomb flower in his hand. And guys, this homing cart is going to run off of your batteries. So if you have not upgraded your batteries yet and you would like to see how to do so extremely fast, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I'll also leave a link in the description. But now let's move on to some fire fruit because this is a lot easier. Okay, so if we make our way right here, I guess in the northern part of our map, just a little northeast of the Rowan Plain area, we're going to find a couple of bacoblins and a moblin. Now, guys, I just think this is a really easy spot to be able to get some fire fruit. Now, all I did was get up in the air with a rocket that was fused to my shield, and I took out the bacoblin and the moblin that was on the ground. And then you can see there is a bacoblin up on the stand that has some fire fruit. Now, all I had to do was get up here with him, and I just threw a dazzle fruit to make him drop his bow. Once he dropped his bow, then I really didn't have to travel anywhere. It's like he just kind of forgot, I guess because I'm down here on the ground and he couldn't see me, he forgot that I even attacked him. So I didn't have to travel anywhere. All I had to do was just kind of keep him out of my line of sight and he totally forgot about me. So then I just used my auto build and I built the stake and the homing cart and I just placed it in the ground just a little bit of a distance away from him. And then I just ascended up to him. I shot it with an arrow, but I think it was too far away from him because I ended up having to jump down, readjust it and bring it just a little closer to him. And then I got his attention. But once I got his attention and he noticed it, he started throwing fire fruit. And all I did was the exact same thing I did with the bomb flowers. I just got next to him, sort of kind of beside him, but a little bit in front of him, and just waited for each fire fruit to be in his hand before I collected it. So, okay, now let's move on to some ice fruit. So now let's just make our way right over here in the Gerudo Highlands. And guys, we're going to end up seeing two Bacoblins right here on this ledge. Now, the first thing you want to do is lay down a travel medallion. It'll help you. It'll make your life a lot easier. And then all I did was use a white choo-choo jelly, and I froze the Bacoblin that I didn't want or need, and I just kind of pushed him off of the cliff. Then I used the Dazzle Fruit to knock the bow out of the Bacoblin's hand that was holding the ice fruit basket. And I have kind of made sure that I was able to pick the bow up. Now you could use Ultra Hand or something, I guess, and just throw the bow over the cliff. But I just picked it up and then I jumped down and took care of the Bacoblin that I had pushed off the cliff because we want to go ahead and kill him. We want to make sure he doesn't respawn back up on this cliff. And then once I did that, all I had to do was just travel back to the travel medallion. And then I just used my auto build, got my homing cart out, and I just repeated the process. I just let the Bacoblin notice it, and then he just started throwing his ice fruit. But now, if you would like to see how to kill a Mulduga, click here. And I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoy content like this, show me with a like. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And I'll just catch you guys next time.